There. This is about um, recovering heat, waste heat from the operation of cars and trucks. Of, um, I became aware that uh, the engines that drive our cars and trucks waste an awful lot of energy. Um, actually only about 25% of the energy that's contained in the fuel actually pushes the vehicle along. With some diesel engines it might be closer to 40%, but the fact still remains that even with the best engines that we have, about 60 to 70 percent of the energy contained in the fuel is wasted. It's amazing. It's lost mainly as heat and I've set up a little experiment here. I've, I'm using a conventional borrowed engine. It's connected, uh -huh. it's connected to a dynamometer which is this unit on the, on the back of the engine. Water flows through the dynamometer and puts a very big load on the engine. It's the same as if the engine was pushing a car up a hill. Mm -hmm. So I set this up to show how much heat we are wasting in, in our engines. Now, what I've done here, I've built an exhaust pipe. This is the exhaust pipe down here. This is the exhaust manifold. This is the exhaust pipe. I've built a special exhaust pipe. And I fitted inside the exhaust pipe a copper coil, something like this. The coil takes water. Water comes in at this point here. It flows all the way down through the coil to the end where it comes back again and comes out here. And the purpose of this experiment is to show just how much water can be converted to steam using only the waste heat that's in the exhaust gases. So there could be waste heat from all the rest of the engine? There is waste heat from lots of other parts of the engine, from the manifold which runs at about 5 to 6 to 700 degrees centigrade, mm. from the engine block itself which is usually lost the engine obviously isn't allowed to get too hot or damage will be caused. So all our cars and trucks have a, a large radiator here and a fan to get rid of the air, to get rid of the heat from the engine. The water circulates from the radiator to the engine and the fan gets rid of the heat. So all that heat can be reused. Now I have um, worked out an engine design where that heat can be recovered and turn back into useful mechanical energy and put back into the transmission which is down here. You get it back into this? I can get it back into the powertrain of the vehicles so that it can boost the output energy that the engine is capable of putting on and I'm, I'm hopeful that a boost of energy of about 25 percent or more will be possible. Mm. Okay. That's now that if, th if that was uh, if that became, if these, this, if these engines were used in all the cars and trucks around the world, I believe we could save up to 300 million tonnes of carbon dioxide each year. Emissions? Emissions each year, yes. How much fuel would we save? Ah, oh, I don't know, but that's a very significant uh, question because, of course, the, uh, the oil reserves are diminishing quite mm. rapidly. So, so it, it would have two distinct benefits. One is the reduction of emissions on a very substantial level and also extending our diminishing oil reserves. Okay. Now, I'm I planning to... I hope you've got this patented, have you? I have got this patented, yes. <laughs> or it's in the process of being patented. Now, I'd like to just run this engine for a short while okay. and hopefully I can show you how much, um, how much heat is being wasted and I'll demonstrate that by converting water it's flowing, cold water that's flowing into this coil in the exhaust pipe into distinctly hot water and possibly uh, even steam. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, go into the next room and rev the engine up to, uh, uh, to put it under a substantial load. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of heat. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a, an awful lot of wasted heat. 
in the operation of the engine much more than most people realise. And uh, it's my my aim is to is to capture that heat to make engines much more efficient. And I believe that can be done relatively simply. Now what, okay. what, what do you hope with this uh, this uh, YouTube? That somebody will see this? And I do. I think that would be yes. It's because uh, it's a bit rad. It's a bit of a radical idea, and I don't think um, ma many people have the idea of just how much heat there is there to reuse. So I'm, I guess I'm looking for some support. I'm looking for um, um, people with skills who can help me put this together. Uh, what, do you, what do you need to put together? The whole engine? To wrap the whole engine? Well, the engine will need to be slightly reconfigured so that the heat can be recaptured more efficiently. After all, what I've shown here is only a very small part of the available heat that is there to be captured. Mm -hmm. To make the engine really efficient, uh, heat would need to be captured from the engine block, from the manifold, uh, as well as from the exhaust pipe as I've just shown. Um, in my engine design, uh, the steam will be driving a turbine and the turbine will feed power into the transmission uh, right down here. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of extra energy there that we... So, so you're looking for financial backing too? Yeah, financial backing and... Um, partners? Uh, possibly partners. Uh, ideally, um, I would like the cooperation of a facility and staff who are dedicated to engine design and construction. Now, if I could work cooperatively with such an organisation, then uh, I think we could get a really good prototype up and running um, in, in not a very long period of time okay. and at not a great cost. Have an idea, will travel? I hope so, yes. <laughs>